Hi again! Welcome back to another story with me, Miss Bailey. I hope you enjoyed the last story, Hand is Surprised by Eileen Brown. And now I have another book by the same author. This book though is called Handa's Hen. And Handa is back again with her friend Akio. Let's see what happens in this story. Handa's grandma had one black hen. Her name was Mondi, and every morning Handa gave Mondi her breakfast. One day Mondi didn't come for her food. Grandma called Handa. Can you see Mondi? No, said Grandma, but I can see your friend. Akio, said Handa, help me find Mondi. Handa and Akio hunted round the hen house. Look! Two fluttery butterflies, said Akio. But where's Mondi? said Handa. They peered under a grain store. Shh! Three striping mice, said Akio. You can see the three striping mice. But where is Mondi? said Handa. They peeked behind some clay pots. I can see four little lizards. One, two, three, four, said Akio. But where's Mondi? said Handa. They searched round some flowering trees. Five beautiful sunbirds, said Akio. But where is Mondi? said Handa. They looked in the long waving grass. Six jumpy crickets, said Akio. Let's catch them. I want to find Mondi, said Handa. They went all the way down to the water hall. Baby bullfrog, said Akio. There are seven. But where's... Oh, look, footprints, said Handa. They followed the footprints and found... Is it going to be the hen? Oh, no, it's only Spoonbill, said Handa. Seven. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. But where, oh where, is Mondi? I hope she hasn't been swallowed by a spoonbill or eaten by a lion, said Akio. Feeling sad, they went back towards Grandma's. Nine shyling starlings over there, said Akio. Listen, said Handa. Cheep, cheep. What's that? Cheep, 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 cheep. It's coming from under that bush. Shall we peep? Look! It's the hen and look what she's got with her. They're her babies. Handa, Akio, Mondi and ten chicks hurried and scurried and skipped back to Grandma's where they all had a very late breakfast. And there, that's where she was all that time. I hope you enjoyed that story. I know I did. Remember, find your favourite story and you can share it with someone in your house. Bye!